Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Um, I don't want to be here today. I don't want to be reviewing this book. Um, this is highly unfortunate. And uh, to the author, if you, and you will, you send me this book for review. If, if you come across this review, I have nothing but the utmost respect for you. And I absolutely loved your novel, Hag. Um, this, the lightning didn't strike twice. Let me just put it that way. Um, I will try to be respectful in this review, but I doubt you are going to like what I have to say. So on with the review. Um, I read Devil. That's, uh, that's not, that's, that's the pronunciation, I guess, in Gaelic for this. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure. It might be another language, but I'm pretty sure it's Gaelic. Gaelic and Navajo are used in this book. Um, but yeah, it's, it says back here, a D I A B H A L um, is pronounced devil. So um, that's one problem that I'm going to go ahead and throw out there right now. Uh, much of this book, that there, not much of it. There's not whole sections written in Gaelic, but there's a there's a lot of Gaelic or Navajo. I'm not sure which. That's part of the problem with a lot of the the passages in here are written in another language that I do not read, that I do not understand. This is not an ebook. This is not something that I could look up. Even when I got to words that I couldn't look up, I still had well words that I could look up. I still had the problem. I don't know if it's going to focus, but had words like that. If not, I, if it doesn't focus, then I will show you, um, I will put up a picture. But uh, there were big X's inside the words, and I couldn't see the actual words. And that's the formatting from the publisher. The publisher had a problem, and the formatting is broken. This is a uh, uncorrected advanced review copy, um, so there's bound to be errors in it. This is not the finished product. I do not expect those errors to be in the finished product. But I couldn't even look the words up. And there were so many of them. There were at least nine that I counted. I'm sure there's others. There was at least nine that I found that I couldn't even look up what these things were called to look up the lore or whatever it was. And very few times did the author say, this is what this means. Um, there was a one point in time where I was reading it with two other people. One of them quit the book. And the other one did, ended up not liking it either. Um, I was reading with them and... One person, the person who quit it, said, "Hey, you know, I the world building here is where I don't I I can't figure any of this stuff out. I'm done." And the answers to the questions about what those just two words meant didn't come until chapter 23, and she ended up quitting the book like chapter 10. Um, so 13 chapters before any of that stuff was explained. Um, the book does start off amazingly. I had a great time with the book for probably the first hundred pages and then something happened. As soon as we start seeing more of of Kate's powers or whatever it is, as soon as she gets to the to the home and we start seeing what she's capable of, I started losing interest. And I guess one of the reasons for that is because I didn't have anybody on the page to like. Nobody. I, I realized all of a sudden it's like I don't care what happens to any of these people and that was highly highly unfortunate because I had several people that I had to had to follow um, and I kept f forgetting who whole people were um, one of those things is because I know that I was mispronouncing names so I was just pretty much blowing through names because I didn't know how to pronounce them in my head and if it wasn't for another friend of my one of the other readers the lady who did finish the book telling me that C-E-I-T is pronounced Kate in Gaelic I never would have I, I never would have found that out. I would have continued to call her, and this is my stupid American brain here, folks, see it, or see it, whatever. Um, and that's just me. I'll be completely honest that that's on me, that I didn't know how to pronounce that, that name. But um, it, it just it aggravated me because there were a lot of words in there that I knew that I was pronouncing wrong just because I didn't, like, no, there's, my stupid American brain does not look at this and, and see devil. I see Diablo, da, something like that. Um, that that's, that's what I see. Now that's my failing, um, not expanding my knowledge, but also there needs to be something in here, you know, if, even if it's, I know you can't just straight out go, um, oh, and it's pronounced this way inside the book. Maybe have someone mispronounce it in the book and have them explain how to pronounce those things. Um, Another big problem I have with this book is there is absolutely no sense of place. This book happens in Los Angeles 
at no point in time did I think that I was in Los Angeles. Um, this is a modern day book. At no point in time did it feel like a modern day book. Everybody in the book talks like it's, you know, old, olden days. And then someone will break out a cell phone and I'll just be completely confused. The, there, there, there were some funny things while I was reading. I'm not trying to make fun of the book, but uh, my, fr my friend Tracy said, uh, <laughs> Haha, cult de sac. <laughs> I got a kick out of that because it's a, the book is about a cult that lived on a cul-de-sac, and it's just something I smiled at. Um, I think the biggest problem here, and the thing that upset me the most, I think, is the ending. We get all of this build-up and all of this promise, especially on the back cover copy, which I'm going to read here in a second. Um, we get all these promises for certain things that, that I, if I'm honest, the, the description writes checks the book can't cash, um, or does not cash. And one of those things is the ending. I was expecting some big climactic ending, and it was all wrapped up literally in three pages. I, I, I kept on, I was like, okay, I'm eight pages from the end, something's about to happen. Seven, six, five, four, nothing, man. And then finally there at the end, it just gets slapdash just thrown together. At least that's what it feels like. And I, it... I'm complete, if I'm completely honest with you, I got this for free from the publisher and the author. I, I'm upset because I had high expectations and high hopes for this one, and this is nowhere near as good as Hag. Um, the writing isn't even anywhere near as good as Hag. Now I can't talk about too, I can't talk about the writing too much because this is an uncorrected advanced reader's copy. But there was a lot of stuff in here that I feel needed to be rewritten. Like whole paragraphs, whole chapters um, that needed to be rewritten. It almost feels like a book that was written under a deadline and she just had to crank it out. I'm, I, I'm speculating, but that's what it feels like and that's never a good thing with a book like this. Once again, I have a great deal of respect for the author and I absolutely hate that we're here having this, having this review, doing this review like this. It breaks my heart. But I have to be honest with, with the people who follow me and the people who, you know, listen to me. I didn't care for this book. I'm sure someone else may. I'm sure there will be a lot of people who do end up liking it. And most of those people will probably not be writers. There are too many issues with the, the build of the, the, the build of the car, I should say. You know, the thing, just the basic structure of the building is off. For me, um, and that was a lot of the problem. Uh, will I go back and reread the final version? I, I'm not sure. It, I don't feel like I want to, and that's unfortunate. Will I read another Kathleen Kaufman book? Most definitely. I'm all over her back catalog and anything else. She it takes several books for me. Hag was so good. It would take several books uh, to to suck before I gave up on this author. Um, will I get another one for review? I. I doubt it, man. But that doesn't matter because I bought Hag uh, with my own money also. But yeah, so have you read Devil? Um, did you like it? If you did like it, let me know exactly what you liked about it. If you didn't like it, let me know exactly what you didn't like about it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.